Hi there, this is Miss Hans from Hilltop Primary School here to show you how to register your artwork for the Minnesota State Fair. Please note I'm making this video in 2024. So if you're entering into this competition in a different year, pay attention to the updated website and any dates that have likely changed. Um, so first off, we're going to start on the mnstatefair.org website. Scroll over to the participants tab and select competitions. If you're entering artwork, that would be under the K-12 competition here. So we'll click more details. And on this web page, you'll see all the information you need to know about this competition. Um, I would definitely check out the K-12 competition premium book because that lists how to register, how to frame, how to label the artwork. Um, it describes each category, and so that'll be really helpful. Um, and there's lots of other resources here as well, especially maps, that's very helpful. So first I'm going to register online, and this is where you make your account for this website. Once you have an account, then you can enter information for each individual exhibitor, if you maybe have multiple children, um, but we would start by just making this website account. So you'll click the sign up button and enter your information. I'm just going to do some random info here as an example. Don't worry about adding a farm name um, because, you know, you're probably not entering into the FFA or 4-H chapter. Um, there we go. All right, so once you have an account, hang on a second. Okay, had to make my password a little stronger. <laughs> All right, so now that I've got my profile set up, I can add exhibitors. So if you're a parent and you're adding um, your child, you would want to add them as an exhibitor. So I'm gonna click on add exhibitor profile and this is where I would put students information, student, Make student, there we go, and create their profile. Once your student has their exhibitor profile, now we need to select what category of competition they're going to be competing in. You can enter your student for multiple categories, and I'll explain that in a moment. So let's start with the static competition. That's kind of the umbrella term for um, that the K-12 art competition is included in. So we'll click static competition and register your student as an individual and then submit. Now we'll scroll back to static competition. Note uh, when the registration closes in 2024, it closes on August 9th, so keep that in mind. Um, and they've got the deadline to register here for the K-12 competition at July 30th. So whatever year it is that you're watching this video, make sure you check out those dates. So I'm going to begin registration for Student McStudent <laughs> um, with their information here, including their school name and their grade. Um, if they're in special ed or not, that's your discretion. And then this is a media question. So maybe the media will want to contact you if your child is a prodigy. Let's say, yeah. All right. So now that we've got all the student exhibitors information entered, we can enter them into their class. That is another word for the category, whether that's a drawing or painting or sculpture. So let's enter a class for that student. We're going to do that under the K-12 competition. And because I said my student was in grade one, it is showing me all the grade one options. Um, so there's drawing with different types of media, painting, printmaking, collages, sculpture, mosaics, jewelry, all kinds of amazing things. Um, if your student is in an older grade, I, I believe starting in fourth grade, you will also see a um, drop down menu for technology exhibits and that would be like if your student has a video maybe a stop motion animation or something they'd like to enter so that would be part of the technology exhibits um, that are available to students 
fourth grade and up. Um, but because I'm in grade one, I just see individual exhibits. I'm going to pretend like my testy McTest student made a pencil drawing. Once you select that class or category, it's really helpful to add some kind of description so that um, the judges know what they're looking for. This is kind of like the title of your artwork. Note that your student can enter in multiple categories. So maybe we'll say that they've got a red pinch pot as well. All right, once you've selected the categories and entered descriptions, you can scroll to the bottom and add those selected classes to cart. This is kind of like a shopping cart. So we'll add it to our cart. And once it looks good and you know we've entered everything correctly, we can go to checkout over here on the right side. So we're going to confirm that this is what's in the cart. All this contact information is correct. We agree to the terms, and then you would select confirm registration. I'm not going to do that since this is just an example. But once you have confirmed your registration, a couple things will happen. Number one, you'll get an email confirming your registration. And number two, you will get a couple things in the mail. One will be a tag for the artwork. This tag needs to be attached to each item that's being entered into the competition. And the premium book ex um, describes exactly how they like those tags attached because they're a little bit picky. Um, that you will also get a receipt, a paper receipt of confirming that your artwork is part of the competition. When you go to drop off your artwork at the state fair, they will ask for that receipt um, and then you'll be able to pick it up from the state fair after the state fair is over. So all that information, once again, is back here on the K-12 competition page. They've also got the deadline, so make sure that if it's 2024 20, right now, um, that you would make sure that you drop off that artwork according to these dates. You can also mail it in here, and then after the state fair, there will be a pickup date. So you'll have to swing by the state fair and pick it up on those dates. They will also post the results on the very first day of the fair on this web page. So um, they still have their 2023 result results listed, but once the first day of the fair in 2024 hits, which I believe is August 22nd, they will update this web page and you will be able to see the updated results for that competition. If your student does win a ribbon, that's first, second, third, or fourth place, um, they will have their artwork exhibited at the fair. It will be hanging up. So you can go visit it. You can go see it. Tell all your friends and family. Contact the local news channel. Um, and then if they do not, unfortunately, get chosen, if they do not win a ribbon here on this results list, then their artwork will not be displayed at the fair. But it will receive a participation ribbon. And whether they win or whether they don't, you will still be able to pick up their artwork on September 4th or 5th um, from the State Fair. So um, if you have any questions at all, you can contact them. You can also contact me, and I'm happy, happy to help you through the process as well. So good luck to all my hilltop artists out there. I'm rooting for you, and I hope you have a great summer. See you later.